Tomorrow, rapper Tory Lanez will be sentenced in court after he was convicted of shooting hip hop star Megan Thee Stallion. The hip hop star Lanez will live in jail in the coming years. Hot news, pals. On August 8th, the final verdict will be made. After watching this, you decide what is wrong or who is wrong. Lanes, whose real name is Daystar Peterson, was deemed guilty of three felonies in the shooting that injured Megan Thee Stallion, leaving fragments of bullet in her feet in December 2022. Prosecutors had requested that Lanes be sentenced to 13 years in jail for the offense, as well as an additional campaign of misinformation undertaken through hip-hop blogs and music in order to undermine Megan Thee Stallion's character. Lane's defense team had requested probation and a residential drug treatment program to assist the artist in dealing with alcoholism, which they claim he developed in order to cope with childhood trauma. During the sentencing hearing, a written statement from Megan was read in court, which was rather emotional. Since I was viciously shot by the defendant, I have not experienced a single day of peace, she said. Slowly but surely, I'm healing and coming back, but I will never be the same. Yes, she was absent from the courtroom, but she made the reason clear. Simply could not bring myself to be in a room with Tori again. Moreover, she requested Judge David Harry Ford to issue a solid sentence for Lanes. Prosecutors claimed that all these started on July 12, 2020. It was a small pool party at Kylie Jenner's Hollywood Hills residence. Megan Pete, aka Megan The Stallion, arrived at the house a few hours prior to Lanes. The duo, together with Kelsey Harris and Lane's security officer, drove away in a black SUV to drop Megan the Stallion and Harris off at their rented house. According to authorities, a disagreement between the performers erupted during the trip, and Lane's bodyguard pulled over an empty road in the hills where Megan the Stallion got out of the vehicle. Prosecutors claim Lane's pulled out a revolver and fired it at the ground, but in her direction as she stepped away from the car. Dance, be dance, shouted Lane's as he shot her. Sun star Peterson, Lane's father, made an intense statement about his son lacking his mother from a younger age. I don't think anybody ever gets over that, but his music became his outlet. What do you think about this? Could it be a paid statement or a genuine one? Many more letters are bundled in the courtroom supporting Lane's. His young son's mother also asked the court to make the sentence transformative and not life-destroying. Lane's defense attorney, George Magdassian, defended during the trial that Harris was the person who shot Megan Thee Stallion after Lane's confessed that he and Megan Thee Stallion were strongly connected. Megan Thee Stallion repeatedly dismissed any romantic relationship with Lane's, notably during a highly publicized interview with Gail King. She did explain that the two had an intimate relationship after connecting over their mother's debts. When a lot of questions on her personal life affairs were asked in interviews, Megan became uneasy and said, I don't want to be on this earth. I wish he would shoot and kill me if I knew I would go through this torture. Lanes has maintained his innocence since his imprisonment, first through appeals and now in a 41-page sentencing document. Lanes' lawyers have claimed that his alcoholism was an influence on what he did. Megan Thee Stallion has been slowly working on her way back into the public eye in recent months, even though she has not talked publicly about Lane's or the photo since an April interview with Elle magazine. I view myself as a survivor because I have truly survived the unimaginable. Not only did I survive being shot by someone I trusted and considered a close friend, but I overcame the public humiliation of having my name and reputation dragged through the mud by that individual for the entire world to see, she said in the magazine. But during the initial days of the investigation, Megan zipped her mouth against Lane's. She said in her statements that her wound was from a glass cut. Later only, as the investigation proceeded, she revealed the truth. Does this make you feel something wrong? Why did she lie? Or is she still lying? Because the cops really found it difficult to get more unbiased witnesses. Attorneys of both parties denied any public interaction for now. So the media is really waiting for some more information. Anyways, all we know is Lane's career is on a cliff. Like the video and comment down your thoughts on this. We will meet soon. Bye!